Yankees are here to hit their best shots and strut their stuff at the 1994 NPC Women's National Bodybuilding Championships. lights of the Orange County Convention Center are shining tonight on the 12th annual NPC Women's National Bodybuilding Championships. Hi everybody, I'm John Walls along with Rick Valente and welcome to center stage where tonight, Rick, the overall champion and the weight class champions could be on their way to very lucrative professional careers. They're amateurs right now. That's right. Could be pros by the end That's of the night. That's right. They get their pro card. And all of a sudden, you're making a living from something that used to be a hobby or a sport. It's different. There are three classes of women's bodybuilding. Lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight. In the lightweight class, Michelle Ralibate, perhaps a sentimental favorite. She has been a wonderful spokesperson over the years for the NPC, but that's in a public relations capacity. What yes. she'd like to do is parlay that into success here on the stage. You know, that's great to do charity work and stuff. She's a great role model, but you know what? She's a competitor at heart. She wants to win. In the middleweight class, Chris Bon Giovanni just won the USA's recently this yes. year. Now she's coming back for her second big national competition in a very short period of time, and that's awfully tough. That's to very tough to do. She hit her peak, and all of a sudden she goes back to the gym, gains a little bit of weight back, trains hard, and she has to hit her peak again in a short period of time. Very tough to do. Her competition tonight, perhaps, from Tracy Gillespie, also Carmela Curitan competing mm -hmm in the national venue for the first time so yes. keep an eye on her yes everybody will keep an eye on her she's very balanced very symmetrical she looks great in the heavyweight competition how about roseanne kaiser she was second at oh. usa's again earlier this year she was second last year in the nationals now i think runner-up she's tired of that yes. roseanne kaiser's thinking win 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 when you get that close john to victory you can taste it you want to win so bad i guarantee it she will be in shape well we're getting the competition underway here at orlando the lightweights are ready to take the stage let's get started with the 12th annual NPC Women's Nationals. Our first competitor in the lightweight classification, the five finalists, Luann Garino, 109 pounds from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Rick. You know, she looks very good, very balanced as she's going through a routine here, showing her thighs, coming across here to a side chest shot, smiling, working the audience. That's a little arm shot there. All right, another side chest shot. Luann was a uh, finalist last year in the NPCs, Rick. She was a fifth place finisher in the NPCs, but has come back for another taste of the action. And obviously here with her placement as one of the finalists, will do no worse than last That's year. Right. She'd like to move up. That's right. Good for her. All right. Now she's got a little double arm twisting double bicep going on. A little lat spread. Ab shot right here. You should be looking at the abs. Another lat spread looking for the width. Here we are, double bicep. Taking her time, showing her thigh there. One arm up. Chest shot there, John, trying to show the muscularity in the chest. You know, it's a very pleasing routine. I mean, if you're a judge, you're looking at this saying, well, she's, she's in shape, obviously. She's very symmetrical. She's definitely in the top five. All right, and Luann Garino from Pittsburgh wrapping up her routine is, again, she's guaranteed of a spot at least somewhere in that top five. This is the young lady we talked about in the outset of the program, perhaps the favorite coming in, right. Michelle Ralibate from Indiana, Pennsylvania, college Now, Countess right away, road. John, do you see the, the difference here in muscularity? Now, she's a little bit harder. Now, if you're a judge, you notice that right away. You also notice the athleticism that you're, you'll see in this particular routine. Michelle has a gymnastics background, dancing. She water skis as well. Look at the biceps. Look at the sh oh, She's in shape. Michelle came in shape. Look at the glutes, the hamstrings, lower back. Oh, she's going to be tough to beat, John. Yeah, not to pick on Luann Garino, but you make this comparison because we just saw Luann right. moments ago. Right. The, the difference in the definition. Even, you know, lower body, just looking at the right. thighs, the quadricep area, back to the hamstrings and upper body, too. It's so substantial. Uh, you, you can see that. Look at a full split. 
Now, see, her routine is different, too. Obviously, there's some gymnastics background now, here. Now, check Look that out. Huh? Is that strength or what, Rick? Definitely. She's working the crowd. Now, see, she's a little bit more aggressive. Obviously, she's demanding some attention here. All right, here we go. All right, now look at this. All right, that's what I did last time. <laughs> <laughs> Except for, did you keep going? <laughs> and to scrape this. you off the stage. Ralevay really putting on a show. She is in shape. She is going to be very hard to beat. Very complete package. Very symmetrical. You talk about hard to beat. Hard to make weight for Michelle Ralevay. One of the more difficult things for her to do is to maintain her lightweight status. Well, it was really hard getting ready for the show, but seeing that I had a hard time making lightweights last year, I couldn't afford to gain any more muscle mass, so I had to be careful of how heavy I worked out, and I'm naturally strong, so I'd get in the gym and I'd be doing inclines with 80s or 85s, and people would be like, oh my god, Michelle, you better stop that, you're going to grow, so I had to kind of slack off and, you know, try to do lesser weight than I was doing. A couple of lightweights down, the rest of the competitors backstage warming up. The 1994 NPC Women's Nationals is brought... Before we continue the competition here, Sandy Bernalli of the NPC and heavyweight Erica Kern with the five mandatory women's poses. Our first pose is the front double bicep. This pose highlights the bicep development, her serratus, her abdominal development, and her thigh development. And relax. The second pose for the women is the side chest. Erica will demonstrate the chest thickness, her de delt development, her biceps, her thigh, and glute and hamstring development. And relax, face the rear. Our next pose is the back double bicep. Again, this will highlight her delt development, her lat development, lower back, glute, and hamstring development. And relax, either side for your side tricep. This pose demonstrates, again, her deltoid development, her tricep, her bicep, again, a little bit of the glute, and her hamstring and thigh development. And relax. Face forward. Hands overhead, abdominal. This pose will demonstrate her serratus, her front abdominal, and her thigh development. Thank you very much. Thank you, Erica Kern. We'll be seeing more of Erica in the heavyweight competition here at the Nationals. But now, we resume the lightweight competition, and this is Clifton Melnikoff. Again, very hard, very muscular. John, look at the glutes and the side of the hamstring there. This girl is in shape. You know, I know Clifton. I have to say, she looks incredible. This is going to be very tough between her and Michelle. You saw the clip is from West Palm Beach, Florida. She has the 1991 Miss Florida overall championship to her credit. Several other regional competitions, the Gold Coast back in 1989, she won the Sunshine Classic back in 1988. Those dates tell you, Rick, that she's been around for a little oh, bit. Oh, yes. Very talented woman. Very balanced body. I mean, if you look at the physique, John, nothing stands out. Nothing overpowers any other body part. The calves match the arm development. I mean, it's very balanced. Beautiful body. Well, you hear so much about symmetry in bodybuilding, and that's what the judges are looking for, the body parts that all blend flow together, together and flow together. Genetically pleasing. She has that. She looks beautiful. Very, very hard, very muscular, in shape. Look at the abs. Now, she is not even flexing her abs. You see how clear they are? The skin is so thin, John. Look at the thighs. Very muscular. Clifton spends a lot of time talking about her bodybuilding, particularly with young people. I just went, um, like, about a week and a half out from the show. I went to one. So I was in pretty good shape, and I walked in there, and these are like little second graders. They're like, oh, my gosh. Wow, look at her. And this one little boy was walking by. He's like, oh, mama. <laughs> I was like, they're too young to be saying stuff like that. <laughs> but it's, it's fun. I like, I like talking to little kids because they really get into it. They ask a lot of questions, and I just like to help them out. Whoa, mama. <laughs> oh, I'm not touching that. <laughs> This is Peggy Schoolcraft, one of our finalists in the lightweight classification. Peggy is from Miami. She weighs in at 113 and a quarter pounds. She's five feet tall. Again, we kind of lose relation, right? Just how tall these women That's are. Right. But five feet tall on the nose. Peggy Schoolcraft that again weighing in at about 113. And they create such an illusion on stage. They appear so much taller, so much larger. That's because they're in shape. When you're in shape like that and you're very muscular, when you get on stage, you just appear larger. Look at this. A little strength there, huh, John? Wow. 
Amazing. So many bodybuilders, Rick, as we see Peggy with that routine, have gotten into the sport from other gymnastics. sports. You see gymnastics, a lot right. of their backgrounds, and then when you put the two of them together, as yeah. Peggy could do, as you saw Michelle Ralibe do a little while ago, that is a dynamite package. Right, that, that creates a very entertaining performance, and that's what it's all about, John, when you're on stage. It's a performance. It's like a theater. You want to be on stage performing. Funny you mention that because talking with Peggy during this competition, and we talked about posing and the thought process as she was up on the stage, and according to Peggy's schoolcraft, it just goes by with a blink of an eye. You're out there performing all those months of hard work, and all of a sudden, wham, bam, Peggy says it's over. I mean, you prepare so long, and then blink, it's like, oh, shoot, did you just see that? Are you sure? Do you want me to see you do it again? You know, oh, God, it's over so fast. And you spent months getting there. It's like when you open the last present of Christmas. It's open, you go, is it? <laughs> oh, okay. Because <laughs> it's so many months worth of work. I mean, let alone the whole year of training and whatever, but hooey. Our last finalist in the lightweight class is Renee Johns. She's from Maplewood, New Jersey, weighing in at 104 pounds. But to get back to the point that Peggy Schoolcraft just made a moment ago there, Rick, I think that is a wonderful analogy the last christmas present we can all relate to that the feeling of like wow it's over <laughs> after all this build up that's why you have to enjoy the moment you have to get on stage and say i am here to stay now she's in great shape i had a chance to talk to her backstage this is a true competitor she wants to win bad and she showed up in shape delts chest look at that very good now john notice the suit now, she's right there. I mean, it's close on what you can get away with, but a suit complements your physique. And I can say you, you notice what there is of the suit. And there is something to be said, again, about women's bodybuilding. There are certain rules and certain stipulations about what you can and cannot wear, what you're allowed to get away with. And the point you make there that it does complement her physique, you're looking for that in a suit, are That's you not? exactly right. You know, you have to wear a suit that comes up high enough on the waist to make your thighs look better. Maybe your torso look a little shorter. Everybody's a little different. She's in great shape. A little Egyptian going on here, going right into a lat spread. She looks great. Very, look at the arms. Very symmetrical body. Delts tying nice with the arms. A little ab shot here. She looks great. Renee Johns wrapping up the lightweight competition here at the 1994 NPC National. She has had success on the national level before. Finished as the junior national lightweight winner. And let's see how she does here tonight. Fifth place belongs to Luann Garino from Pittsburgh. Fourth place, Peggy Schoolcraft from Miami, Florida. So fourth place finish for Peggy. Renee Johns, the third place finish in the lightweight class. Our runner-up, Clifta Melnikoff, and the champion of the lightweight classification, Michelle Ralibate. She's now standing by backstage with Rick. Michelle Ralibate, lightweight winner. How's it feel? Great. Excellent. Okay, now you said uh, you wanted to stand next to Linda Murray. It looks like that's going to happen. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Someday. Okay. Now, what are you going to do for the pose down, the overall pose down? <sighs> Give it my best shot. Okay. Have fun. All right. That's a good attitude. Good luck. Thank you very much. Okay. That smile, it was working tonight for Michelle Ralibate. Standing by, the middleweights are pumping it up in the pump-up room, and we'll get back to their competition in just a moment. Welcome back to Orlando. John Walls here with Rick Valente, and the middleweight classification is underway. This is our first finalist in this competition, Jennifer Greenbaum from Washington, D.C. You notice how they start to appear a little thicker? The quality of the muscle now is just getting larger on the middleweights. That'll happen now. When we move into the heavyweights, you'll see the same thing, John. Look at this. Nice and slow. Everybody has their own style of posing. Jennifer is the mother of three children, six years old, wow. eight years old, and 17 years old. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, well, good for her. She has certainly uh, not only balanced motherhood, but quite a range of motherhood there, dealing with a teenager and then uh, a couple of elementary school students home as well. Did you see the thigh development there from the side? She has great thighs. 
Look at the hamstrings. Look at the hamstrings and the glutes there. Well developed, very balanced. Delts, lower back is coming in. Right into a lat spread. Into a back double bicep, John. Very thick. Thick shoulders, thick arms. Taking her time. Jennifer has been to the Nationals on more than one occasion. This is actually her fourth trip to this competition. She was here in 93, 92, and 1991. Jennifer Greenbaum winding up her routine. Our next finalist, Gina Marie Hall from Fenwick Island, Delaware. All right. So, see the chest striations there? Shoulders, nothing. Look at the thighs, too. Wow. Very well developed thighs. Look at the hamstrings. She's in shape. We saw Gina Marie at the 1993 Junior Nationals where she won the overall championship. Has taken a little bit of time off since then, but now is back, as you can see, in top, top form. You know, when everybody's getting into this, this back shot now where you come down like that and come up and you can really see the development on the, the hamstrings and the glutes. Delts look good. Traps in the back. Upper back is very muscular. Double bicep shot. Yep, she's, she's very hard, very muscular. Gina Marie competing again in the middleweight classification. We heard from one of the lightweights a little while ago about how difficult it was to maintain that lower weight. Gina Marie says as far as middleweight class is concerned, it is no problem at all for her to come in in shape. This year was a lot easier because we got to go to 135 rather than trying to have to stay under one, 125 pounds. So this year was really easy for me. Um, I didn't have to do as much aerobics. I could eat more. I you know, felt a whole lot healthier, a whole lot happier this year. This was, uh, you know, all in all, a pleasure to diet for this show rather than any other show. You know, John, that's a very frustrating thing, trying to get into a, a lower or an upper weight class, because sometimes you develop your physique where you have to go into the next weight class, and then you become the lightest person in the next weight class. It's very frustrating. Carmelo Curitan, 132 pounds. Again, this is the middleweight classification. Very beautiful body. Now, she has a genetic gift going on. And what I mean by that is every now and then you'll see a competitor come out where it just looks like it flows together. Beautiful body. Look at the small waist, John. Do you see what I'm saying when I, when I say flow together? Very, very nice. Her posing. You see how with each pose her hands move? Now, this is posing. To be quite honest with you, to the untrained eye, right? everyone looks great. That's right. Everyone I, looks great. I understand big. that. So when the judges are looking for what you're saying here, again, is, is what's just a little more pleasing, what flows together, maybe just a little bit more so than the next tour. So, but that takes years and years of training. You've been around bodybuilding for a long time. Right. See, it's a frustrating thing for the actual competitor because you have what mom and dad gave you genetically. So uh, look at the delts. You can only do so much with a physique. Uh, if you have, like I said before, you know, wide hips and narrow shoulders, it's going to be very hard for you to win bodybuilding shows. She has a beautiful body here, very symmetrical. Look at the lat spread. Great stage presence. She just looks confident. Look at the thighs. Carmela going through the rigors of the diet and the training in preparation for the event, but says she also needed some spiritual guidance to get here, too. I did a lot of praying, a lot of spiritual exercise more than anything. I had to pray for this one. It was very tough. It was. And, um, but my husband, he was there for me, so I appreciate that. But I made it. Thank God, I made it. I can't believe that it's over with. All I want is pizza. Let's now go backstage to Rick Valente with a special presentation. Rick? Presenting our next award will be Jean Behage. Jean is the Vice President of Marketing for General Attrition Centers. Jean? Thank you, Rick. You know, a lot of people out there really don't realize that General Nutrition has a lot of products for bodybuilders. Not just a few, but over 300 sport nutritionals. It's not just for the bodybuilder, but the recreational warrior out there that's doing something every weekend, or just anyone that's into physical activity. And with that, I'd like to present the most symmetrical bodybuilding award to Carmela Curis. Carmela? General Nutrition Centers is proud to present to you this most symmetrical bodybuilding award. 
You know, bodybuilding symmetry is when all parts are in complete harmony with each other and the total body. And tonight, you have complete harmony in, in bodybuilding symmetry. Congratulations, Carmilla, from General Nutrition Centers. Thank you very much. I'm very honored to get this award. It means very much a lot to me. All right, now in bodybuilding, the whole thing is to be, try and be symmetrical and balanced. You've achieved that. What does that mean for you? Well, I like to thank God for giving me the genes that I have, but uh, it means everything to me, and it was a lot of hard work to reach this goal. Okay, well, it paid off. What do you think's next for you? Pizza. <laughs> okay, back to you, John. She's got her mind on the pepperoni. We're keeping an eye on the middleweights. We'll continue when we come back. So, you want to get big. You gotta think big. Drink big. Big. Center. As we continue the 1994 NPC Nationals, Chris Bon Giovanni, fresh off her win in the USA's, and Rick here she is going back to back or trying to go back to back. And for Chris, that's the challenge coming into this competition in peak form. Very hard to peak relatively close like that. But she she looks great. Did you notice the thigh development from the side when she opened up? Look at the back. She looks great. She's in shape. You see the striations and the triceps and the shoulders there? Very, very hard. Now, notice her posing is different. I like that. She's taking a, a chance, doing something, you know, different, individual. Lat spread. Look at the triceps. Look at the delts. She's in shape. Nice and slow. Now, she's opening up, you know, a little different. She's taking her time. A slow song. I'm, I'm very curious to see if it goes into a mix of something fast. And you talk to about enjoying the moment and really soaking in that spotlight. And I think by looking at Chris Bon Giovanni's face, you can see that she's doing exactly that. That's, a, that's what it's all about. She's in shape. She's enjoying it. Look at the biceps. Well, Chris knows Whew. what bodybuilding is all about, what you have to give up and what you have to sacrifice. I think the hardest part was just mentally. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty good at my diet. I don't... And it's not hard for me to diet, but it was just mentally knowing that I had to eat this and and I couldn't go out with my daughter and, you know, go out to eat and just do some of the normal things in life. But it was, you know, it was hard. Um, but I'm used to only doing like one show a year. So um, I'm happy, though. It was worth it. Among the more recognizable faces in the crowd, Bev Francis, former bodybuilding and powerlifting champion, and that's Tara Samantha, the newest addition to the family there. Congratulations. Tracy Gillespie, our next finalist in the middleweight class, 131 pounds from Johnson City, Tennessee. Beautiful body. Very symmetrical. Flows. Look at the thighs from the side. Look at the hamstring there. Side chest shot. go. Tracy's been on somewhat of a yo-yo as far as bodybuilding is concerned. She has competed as a middleweight, then she went up to the heavyweight class, now she's back down to the middleweight, and again, there's a little more latitude this year. She's trying to find what her peak condition is, her weight. It's very tough to do. Sometimes you go up a little bit and you show up a little smoother. You don't do as well. You come down, you'll find you'll be a little bit harder. You know, you, you can't get into a, a scale trip where you weight trip. You have to look at the mirror. Peak. It doesn't matter what you weigh. You know, when you're when you're in the pros, you stand next to everybody weighs different. There's no weight classes. So muscle just doesn't turn into bigger muscle. It might turn into well, you might have more muscle, but it doesn't show as well because you can't carry as That's much. That's exactly right. The quality isn't the same. She looks great. She won the overall championship at the 1991 Junior Nationals. Look at the abs there. I love it when you're not even flexing your abs and they're showing. She's in shape. Bicep there. Look at the bicep. Tracy also finished second in the USA's back in 1992, so she's had success on the national level. As far as tonight's concerned, Jennifer Greenbaum, our fifth place finisher from D.C., our nation's capital represented there. From Fenwick Island, Delaware, Gina Marie Hall, a fourth place finish. Third place belongs to Tracy Gillespie. In second place, Chris Bongiovanni. So she doesn't go back-to-back, -back, but still 
finishes respectably as a runner-up. And our middleweight champion, Carmela Curitan. So the fans are on their feet. The Curitan clan happy indeed. Carmela walking home with the trophy. Backstage, Michelle Ralibate warming up for the pose down, but the heavyweights are still to come. Welcome back to the 12th Annual NPC Women's National Bodybuilding Championships here in beautiful Orlando, Florida. I'm John Walls along with Rick Valente, and we have crowned two champions thus far. The lightweight and the middleweight classes have been already determined. In the lightweight competition, Michelle Ralibate. She looks great. You know, she has that V taper going on. The midsection was really dry and crisp. She definitely deserved the win. In the middleweight class, in the outset of the program, we had talked about Chris Bon Giovanni and how difficult it would be for her to get ready for her second national competition in a very short period of time. She does well, finishes as the runner-up, but Carmela Curitan, the middleweight champion in her first ever national show. What an accomplishment to come in for your very first time in a national show and win like this. You're going to see her all over the magazine. She's going to do very well. The heavyweight class is yet to come. Roseanne Kaiser, another name we talked about earlier in the program. Runner-up in the Nationals last year. Runner-up in the USA's earlier this year. Yes. Hungry woman. Very we talked hungry. about that. She'll get competition, though, from Anne-Marie Crooks and Annie Rovecchio. Exactly right. But she wants to win. When you get that close to victory like that, she is going to be tough to beat. She can taste the victory. This is our first heavyweight finalist, Erica Kern from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. That's just outside of Minneapolis, 149 pounds. And you may remember we saw Erica as our guest poser or showing us the mandatory poses early in the program with Sandy Rinaldi. Now she's on stage, Rick, and this is when it counts. And again, the face just kind of lights it up, doesn't it? Yeah, she looks very comfortable on stage. Very pretty girl, great smile, beautiful body. Look at the belt there, John. Do you see that? I mean, she's in shape. Erica, an amazing story. She was suffering from anorexia at one point in her life and has used bodybuilding as a way to combat that. And now, obviously, she has overcome that situation that uh, really threatened her at one point and has turned her life around and says it was bodybuilding that got her going in the right direction. Good for her, and I hope many other people are hearing that, and I hope they turn their life around, too. She looks fabulous. Look at this. It's nice to see someone on stage who has that glow going on. She's happy. Good for her. Great shape. Look at this. Great body. Delts look good. Side chest shot there. The chest looks good. But, you know, as you move into the heavyweights, the girls get a little taller. They get a little larger. I mean... And it just keeps happening from lightweight to heavyweight. And, and yet, John, they all look the same. We all have the same body. That's why it's very frustrating for people who don't follow bodybuilding to understand how they're judged. I talked just a moment ago about Erica and the anorexia. Let's hear more about that and her recovery from anorexia. I went from having the food be my controlling, you know, the living every single minute around my next meal to spending five hours a day in the weight room, which wasn't healthy either. And I've moderated that, but it was definitely a lot healthier than the anorexia. A lot healthier indeed. Nice to have her here tonight competing and obviously a very fine finish, at least in the top five. This is Teresa Anderson from Falls Church, Virginia. Wow, look at that arm. Look at the tricep and the bicep there from the back. She looks great. You know, you have to give it to every competitor here on stage. It's easy to sit in the audience and critique them and say, oh, this and that, and they're a little smooth here or there. But just to get on stage is an accomplishment, John. You realize you've gone through three, four months of dieting, training. I think they all deserve, you know, a pat on the back just to be up there. Look at that double bicep. She you looks made, good. You made the point a little while ago just about the different size of the heavyweights and how obviously they are much taller. Yeah, these women are coming in at about 5'7", five, 5 five feet, 8 inches tall. The middleweights are in that, it seems to be 5'3 to 5'4", and then the lightweights are down around the 5 feet to 5'1". Right. So there's about a 6-inch spread there from the lightweights to the heavyweights. And if you add that 6 inches to your body type, you can carry, obviously, a lot more muscle. That's right. And you know what? You're going to see the difference uh, uh, when, we, when we have the pose down. Look at this. Showing your lats from the front, going into a lat spread. Thigh development, look at how muscular the thighs are from the front. Little side shot there, showing the delts, the chest. Therese says that one of her hobbies, other than bodybuilding, which is almost a full-time vocation, 
interior decorating. So let's see how she stacks up here tonight. Backstage, let's go to Rick with another presentation. Presenting our next award is Kevin Lamar. Kevin is the vice president of Schwinn. Kevin, Schwinn has been around for years, but connected with the bodybuilding world, it's relatively new. Well, Rick, Schwinn's a 100-year-old bicycle company that over the last 15 years has really gotten into the fitness business. And we've really tried to support events and promote things in the fitness industry that has helped us to become an industry leader. And I'd like to now take this opportunity to present Schwinn's Most Improved Bodybuilder Award to Michelle Relibay. Congratulations, Michelle. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Michelle. We all want to know, how did you improve so much in one year? Wow. Well, I'd like to thank Cybergenics for all their supplements that they send me and um, for sending me down here in Orlando. I wouldn't be able to do it without them. And I'd like to thank the Lord and my family for coming to see me and Brian in helping me prepare for the show. Okay, what is next for you? Oh, gee. Food. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens after tonight. Okay, great. Back to you, John. Thank you, Rick. When we come back, we'll see the looks of Anne Marie Crooks. We interrupt. Checking him out on stage, you betcha here in Orlando at the 1994 NPC Nationals. John Walls and Rick Valente. Hey, give me those binoculars, pal. <laughs> this is Anne Marie Crooks, another finalist in heavyweight class. And just by looking at the size of Anne Marie, you can tell, Rick, she is a large woman. And I say that in the most complimentary of ways. She's 5'10", weighs 180 pounds in Fort Lauderdale. I love it. I think she looks great. I don't see why she's not in film. I'll tell you, what an impressive woman. Beautiful, too. Look at the face. She's gorgeous. Anne Marie is quite an interesting lady. She has hobbies of motorcycle riding. She also collects exotic pets. Among her pets, she has several snakes and a skunk that she keeps okay. around the house. Well, to each his own. I mean, that's great. What a body, though, huh? Look at this. Great genetic lines, too. You know, she has broad shoulders, small, small waist. Look at the thighs. Yeah, how much more of an advantage does she have, or what does it do it's for her? It's actually this? a disadvantage. Yeah, she's 5'10", a little more That's body. That's right. right yeah. It takes longer to develop the muscle. When you're, when you're very tall, very long, it, it seems to take a longer time to, to develop the arm development. So being bigger doesn't necessarily translate into an advantage That's in right. Case. That's exactly right. She looks great. Look at this. Comfortable on stage. She could be a little bit harder, John. And by harder again, you're saying see that definition through exactly. the skin. Exactly. She looks gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. I mean, she's very muscular. Look at this. Wow. A full split. Amazing. Very impressive woman. And a lot of times when you talk about being softer, too, you're talking about just maybe a little bit of water between right. the skin and the That's muscle. Right. Genetically, it's all Excellent. there, John. Yeah, right. It's all there. Look at the shape of the muscle. She has small joints, very round, full muscles. She looks beautiful. Look at the thighs. She looks great. Very, very good. You can't help but notice, as Rick said, those quadriceps, those thighs really stand out. But because they do, it means extra work for the rest of her body. Anne Marie Crooks knows that better than anybody. Last year, my weakest areas were my shoulders and lats because I have such overly developed quads that the upper body tends to look a little smaller compared to the quads. So I kind of have to overemphasize the development of the upper body to make them look in symmetrical proportion with the rest of my physique. So that's what I spent the whole year doing, and I think I pretty did a good job. We have a little more of the heavyweight competition to go, but first, let's go backstage to Rick with another special guest. Here to present our next award is Neil Blackman. Neil is the vice president of Twin Lab. Neil? Rick, thank you very much. It's great to be here once again. Our company has been affiliated with this event for many years, and we're looking forward to a great event this year. I have the distinct pleasure and honor to introduce this year's Sportsmanship Award to Ms. Clifta Melnikoff. Clifta, congratulations. This, uh, this is the Twin Lab Sportsmanship Award, and it's presented to you in recognition of your sportsmanship at the 1994 NPC Women's National Bodybuilding Championships. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. I'm um, really honored to have this award from Twin Lab. I'd like to thank um, my trainer, Kurt Rex Rexford, my husband, Dave Melnikoff, and all my friends and family out there that helped me 
get this award. Right. <laughs> now, Clifton, this is quite an honor because this means you're nice to your competitors on and off the stage. How do you do that dieting and, you know, with all the tension and stuff that goes on backstage? Um, that's just the way I am. I like to have fun with it. Um, some people get too serious with it, but I just like to come and have fun and be friends with everybody. Great attitude. Congratulations. Thank you. Back to you, John. Thank you very much, Rick, and our congratulations to Clifton Melnikoff for receiving that award backstage. Let's go back on the stage, though. This is Annie Ravecchio, our last finalist in the heavyweight competition. Annie, as you can see already, rocking to the rhythm. So she's got a different strategy as far as her posing is concerned from what we have seen thus far. Also, another difference you might notice, the size and stature here. Annie Ravecchio at 5'5", 150, and Rick, we just saw Anne Marie Crooks a little while ago at 5'10", 180. So there's quite a spread in the heavyweight competition. Well, you know, you have to peak when you're getting ready for a bodybuilding show. That's what it's all about. I mean, all the years of training, when you get on stage at that certain date, you have to be peak condition, very muscular. And, you know, you, the scale doesn't matter. If you show up heavier because you think you want to be bigger, you may appear a little cloudier. So it's not quality. You can't see the muscle. And when you say appear cloudier. I mean, I, I'm thinking of you know, literally clouds in the sky, but you're saying the muscles can have that appearance. That right. It's not as clear, John. It's not as dry and hard and muscular. You want to be able to, uh, the skin appears almost transparent. When you show up off peak, it's cloudy. You can't see the muscularity. Now, she looks great. Her upper back is very muscular. Her lower body looks like it's a little off to me. Annie Ravecchio knows what it takes to get the job done. Oh, you have to be on top of it. You have to think, you know, what your competition is doing. You know, and you don't want to do that extra hour of aerobics. You have to say, well, the girl in my weight class is probably doing two extra hours. So you have to get yourself to the gym and take, you know, cut down your calories and carbohydrates and just tough it out. Tough it out indeed. More heavyweight competition to come and we continue from Orlando. Welcome back to Orlando. John Walls with Rick Valente and the hometown crowd is looking on because their muscle-bound darling has taken the stage. Roseanne Kaiser. She is from Orlando and has a lot of home cooking going for her here tonight, Rick. Now, see, right away, I can notice that she is very hard. Look at the delts. Now, watch when she starts hitting poses. And she's obviously worked on a routine, which is great. We were talking earlier about, you know, the water retention appearing cloudy. Now, what, look at the thighs. Do you see the difference? How they separate, and you can see them very clearly. And you're saying that some competitors have that muscle underneath. They, oh, they have great... Just, we they don't to, quite have the ability to display it exactly, at this time. And it might just exactly, be the matter of a day or two. That's exactly... That's what makes bodybuilding so frustrating. You genetically can have everything. You can have small joints, full round muscle, very balanced, symmetrical body. But if you do not peak, you're not going to win. Well, it looks to me like Roseanne's got it all. <sighs> look She's at, got now, the whole package. That. Yes. Very hard. She is going to be tough to beat in this heavyweight class. She's just a little bit harder than the other competitors. Now, whether you like that or not, I mean, that's an opinion thing. But when it comes down to judging, you know, that's in a very important round. They're looking for muscularity. Very hard, very muscular. She looks great. Now, she is on time. She has peaked for this show. Well, Roseanne knows what it's like to compete in this forum. She has had frustration after frustration on the national level. She finished second in the USA's earlier this year. She finished second in the 93 Nationals. And so maybe this is the time she gets over the hump. We'll hear from her just a little bit about that. But she comes in tonight in great shape. And I can't imagine her feeling any better about her performance here, Rick. Again, in front of the hometown folks, yes. looking like she does. Look how hard she is. Her delts, her lower back, if you notice when she was hitting the back shots, she had the Christmas tree going on where you could see the lower back really clear. Roseanne putting it all together at the right time, and maybe this is her time to shine. This is my third Nationals this year, and I felt that um, if I could, my condition could be good, and I brought myself in good condition as what the judges wanted me to be, I felt that um, perhaps this might take me over the edge. I hope so. Because uh, I'm, I'm basically, I'm ready. I, I would like to be on the pro stage. I'd like to make a debut somewhere down along the line in a few months. So it depends on tonight. 
We'll see if it's Roseanne's night in just a moment, but first, let's go backstage to Rick. Presenting our next award will be Marty Harmon. Marty is the president of Strength Systems USA. Marty? Strength Systems USA has been part of the NPC program for many years. We look forward to uh, continuing the relationship. It's, a, it's uh, the best way, we think, for uh, youngsters to get into the sport and to grow. Mm -hmm. And right. we're here today to give the Best Poser Award to Michelle Rolabet, who did a marvelous job. Congratulations on behalf of Zach Nathan, our CEO, and all of the many people at Strength Systems USA, congratulations. Thank you, this is a great accomplishment. I love performing and I love being a crowd pleaser. Okay, you know what this means now. You are going to get a lot of calls to do guest posing. Oh, definitely. Choreographing comes very easy to me. I've been doing it all my life and I love it. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Back to you, John. She loves it, and boy, does it show. The best posium award goes to Michelle Rallabate. Michelle also the lightweight champion, and we'll see her in just a few moments in the pose down. Who will she go against as far as the heavyweights are concerned? Well, it won't be Erica Kern. Erica finishes in fifth place. Fourth place honors go to Therese Anderson from Falls Church, Virginia. Annie Ravecchio from Marietta, Georgia, the third place finisher in the heavyweight class. Runner-up honors go to Anne-Marie Crooks, and that means... The hometown girl makes good. The heavyweight champion, Roseanne Kaiser. She's now backstage with Rick. I'm with Roseanne Kaiser, who just won the heavyweight class. Now, you took a second last year in the Nationals, and you took second in the USA. How does it feel, finally, to win your class? Third time's the charm. It feels great. Uh, I did make some changes uh, for my training and my preparation, but I felt really good because this is my hometown, and I'm just delighted to have won my class and the show was spectacular all my friends and family came out and all my sponsors and i could not be happier and i'm finally ready to turn pro all right congratulations thank you so much rick well her work's not done yet the showdown and the pose down coming up when we come back We're back for the highlight event of the night, folks. This is the pose down at the 1994 NPC Nationals. The lightweight representative, Michelle Rallabate. From the middleweight class, the champions, Carmela Kirton, and the heavyweight champion, Roseanne Kaiser, again from Orlando here on her hometown stage. And Rick, this is when the competitors go head to head, man. They line up toe to toe and they say, check me out and check her out and you tell me who looks better. You know, John, we were talking earlier about the uh, people at home, the audience, who, who really aren't into bodybuilding. If they were confused, confused before, they must be really confused now because here we have the winner in each class going against each other. Who do you pick? Who do you choose? And why? And well, let me tell you. It's really uh, kind of a freeform thing, too, is it not? That's right, it is. You just, you hit your best poses. If you're smart, you hit your best poses to complement your physique. Now, I think what the judges are looking for is who is the most symmetrical, who is in the best condition, and it might even come down to who had a better routine. When it's this close, everything comes into play. Now, you saw Roseanne Kaiser leave the stage, or at least the top of the stage. You can do that. Sure. You can move all the way around, but nobody followed her down there, so and now she goes back in the line. That was smart of the other other two women you do not follow anyone you want to lead you hit your best shot and if someone comes over to you stand there and go with her it's gonna be very close John I, I don't know um, you know Michelle is very symmetrical her skin tone is good her tan is a little darker uh, it's unusual for a lightweight to win the overall but you never know it's difficult. There's no question about that as far as the lightweight's concerned because, again, she's going against, in this case, Roseanne Kaiser, who weighs about 45 more pounds than Michelle Rallabate. But let's see now, as we're waiting for the final word, the winner of the overall title. So Michelle Rallabate, the overall champion, on stage to congratulate her, Sandy Rinaldi, the NPC Women's Chairperson, Jean Behage, the President of Marketing for General Nutrition Centers, Kevin Lamar, the VP of Schwinn Cycling and Fitness, and Steve Carroll, the promoter. Congratulations, Michelle. We'll be back with her in a moment. Welcome back to Orlando, Florida, here at the 1994 NBC Women's National Bodybuilding Championships. I'm John Walls, and with me, Michelle Rallabate, the 1994 overall champion. And Michelle, for the lightweight to go out there back-to-back -back now, surprised last year, you this year. What's the secret? What's going on here? It must be the trend. I don't know. It was wonderful. I don't, I'm so ecstatic. I can't believe that a lightweight can do, you know, can win the overall. It's crazy. 
Yeah. I'd like I'd like to thank the Lord and I'd like to thank Brian and everyone that helped me prepare for this. It's been great. Yeah, next step for you now. Obviously the pro card is a huge step in your career. How do you prepare for that? Because as Rick and I were talking about earlier in the program, this is a big step you have to make now. Well, first of all, I'd like to get my priorities straight with bodybuilding and there's going to be a lot more opportunities out there and um, I feel that I'm marketable for maybe the movies or um, any type of sports industry, supplements, anything out there. But I definitely would like to compete against Linda and Laura and all those um, professional athletes out there. Well, I heard him say Dynamite definitely comes in small packages, and you proved that here tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. And good luck getting the trophy back on the plane. I don't know how you're going to do that, but that might be your hardest chore of the weekend. All right, Michelle again, congratulations. Okay, thank you. All right, Michelle Ralibate, our overall champion, Rick Valente, the lightweight, two years in a row now. As I said, Sue Price last year. Now right. Michelle walking away with the overall. Amazing. And, you know, this was so close. I, you know, remember I've talked to you earlier about uh, when you're on stage, your performance, and she put on a performance. So, you know, if it was that close, it can go either way. Maybe the performance helped her get it. You know, you have to feel, I guess, somewhat sympathetic toward Roseanne Kaiser. She doesn't win the overall championship, but, but she, she still gets her professional That's card, right. so she moves on. But Michelle Ralibate, the lightweight, again, how does that happen out here two years in a row? It's, it's amazing, but I, I'm very happy for her because, like she said, she is very marketable, and that's great. We need that in the sport, so she has a lot of avenues she can go on to. So Michelle Ralibate, again, our 1994 overall champion here in Orlando, Florida. For Rick Valente, I'm John Wallace. Thanks for joining us at the 1994 NPC Women's National Bodybuilding Championships. Tonight's program has been brought to you by Strength Systems USA, the largest variety of quality nutritional supplements making the world bigger stronger better potency is always guaranteed Swin fitness Swin gives you a full line of fitness equipment quality engineered to help you discover the power inside and by general nutrition center the authority for the high performance athlete for all your sports nutrition needs stop at gnc today strike up the band as the champ strikes one last pose the 1994 npc women's nationals was produced by high bar productions in association with ESPN.